What's up guys, uh, welcome to the first uh, in learning uh, JavaScript. My name is QD Azani and you guys are watching my channel, Cryowood. All right, so if you haven't subscribed our channel, please uh, do so uh, and support us, uh, subscribe our channel. All right, so we begin with the first video with the JavaScript, what is JavaScript and why we need JavaScript, why you guys should learn JavaScript. So we're gonna go from, as I said, from beginner. So we're gonna go from the very start. We expect you guys to, if you guys don't know anything about the um, JavaScript, that's pretty fine. Or if you guys know JavaScript and you wanna enhance or wanna increase your uh, knowledge of JavaScript by all means, because we're gonna go all the way to advanced uh, level of JavaScript. We're gonna go to object oriented. Um, we're gonna discuss later on object oriented part of JavaScript. So it's and it's very useful if you guys already know the JavaScript, and if you guys know a little bit JavaScript, but if you guys want to know more, you guys uh, are more than welcome to watch uh, this series. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna make in another uh, language as well. We try to make in uh, Hazaragi language. We try to make. Uh, if you guys see this, the next version of this, don't be surprised. If you guys see the. Hindi version of this, our Urdu version of this, our Persian version of this. So don't be surprised because uh, I try my best to make in another languages as well. But uh, English is the first priority. So um, you guys all uh, always see my uh, uh, tutorials on uh, English language. So uh, you guys expect English all the time. So with any other language. So then I'm gonna do with another version of this. Then I'm gonna make another. Um, in another language all right so we begin with the javascript if you guys look at here it says java and script so we begin with javascript is not java so if you guys look at here it says java and script so javascript is not a java it has nothing to do with java and i'm going to show you guys why in um, future videos and then the next video we're going to go in the history of javascript and um, when you guys um, know the history the in-depth I'm going to show you guys the history then you guys know why it's called javascript it has nothing to do with java it's not even close to java there's not they don't have it they're not even the same family of java they're not even living close to java so they're they're not java too. so uh, if you guys thinking that javascript is another version of the java you're wrong so because it's got nothing they may have a similar name so it's, it's it doesn't mean that if you're sharing trump you're uh, trump's family so family i'm just kidding so uh or if your surname is biden you're biden's family member or something like that but it's not it's totally different so um, uh, javascript is not java it has nothing to do with java as i said before java is totally different language java is general purpose programming language so uh, with Java, you guys can go and uh, do programming in, say, Android. You guys can do in programming inside the computers. Memory, you guys can manipulate memory. You guys can um, uh, can do anything inside the bits. If you guys make search engine with the Java, you guys can do almost any anything high level programming. You guys can do anything because it's general purpose. But you guys can do with the JavaScript. So with the JavaScript, because high level level programming language. You is lives inside the web browser and you guys can go just go like a C++ C C++ you can just manipulate the memory bits and can manipulate bits can just release the memory somewhere can reference memory or something like that because it's not even close to the low level but with Java you guys can do that because Java is just like a C++ and C and you guys can actually go there and uh, can do your um, uh, release memory can uh, manipulate your bits can your um, and bytes and uh, blah 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 everything else that c++ can do you guys can do it with java so java competes with the uh, uh, c++ c c++ and um, c sharp but uh, you guys can even make games you know but with javascript that's not the case you guys can't do any of this that java can do so think of java is just like a mountain is a huge mountain and javascript is just a small hill so with the javascript you guys can do anything inside the web browser you guys can put animation you guys can put a uh, pop-up you guys can do anything but uh, keep in mind if you guys learning javascript if you guys thinking that if i put a pop-up in this uh, browser 
uh, I'm going to annoy the users. You are wrong because the users can turn turn off the JavaScript, so they have every right to turn this because this is a, in a client in the user's script. It lives there. User can see your code. So with the PHP, user can see. With the other language, can see. But with JavaScript, the user can see every bits of your pieces and codes. You guys can go to Twitter. You guys can go Alibaba. Any other programming language, Facebook, and you guys, when you guys go at the background of the HTML, you guys can see the JavaScript full in uh, in every file. You guys can see every single word of JavaScript, what they've written JavaScript, how how what the code code does, where is the vulnerability, blah blah blah, everything. But you guys can see that, and you guys can t turn off this JavaScript. But keep in mind when you guys turn off inside the Firefox or any of your programming language there's plugins that you guys can turn off the JavaScript uh, sometimes the load the page not load sometimes the video not played sometimes animation doesn't work so keep in mind do you guys see this sort of um, in um, uh, problems with the uh, uh, browsers but uh, you guys can uh, turn off the JavaScript for naughty website the website that annoys you not every website, some because there are a lot of uh, good websites that uh, use the JavaScript for good purposes, but there are a few uh, naughty websites that uh, use JavaScript for the evil purposes. So you guys can turn off the JavaScript. Okay, so JavaScript is powerful scripting language, and I'm gonna show you guys shortly what is scripting means, which lives inside the web browser. So as I said before, you guys uh, expect JavaScript that to live inside say uh, Microsoft's uh, Internet Explorer Edge and um, Google's Chrome and uh, Firefox and um, every other uh, browser because there are so many browsers, Opera and uh, then to name a few. So now I think there are more and more uh, web browsers in the market. But the top, uh, the top ones are three. So Chrome, um, Firefox and um, uh, Microsoft's Edge and Opera, so that's the top four. JavaScript is high level and often just in time compile. As I said before, JavaScript is high level. High level means that it's, uh, there was low level, there is a medium level, and there is high level here. HTML and JavaScript are high level, but C plus C is uh, C and assembly language is very low level because they are very close to the say this is hardware. Of the computer is a memory and it's bits and uh, machine language and there is a simple assembly language then there is a C language then there is C++ and Java and C sharp and then you guys come into a high level language that the HTML and you guys see this JavaScript you guys see jQuery uh, any other language that lives inside the web browser is a high level language and it's just in time compiled it means that <coughs> As soon as you guys uh, put your code, it's going to be compiled. It's not, not going to wait for anything. It's not going to wait for machine um, machine uh, language. It's not going to be like a C, C++. It's going to compile it and it puts it inside this um, machine code. Uh, it's not going to put it in machine code. It's uh, interpreted language. It's going to be just in time. And the Google, just this is GIT, then the Google... Uh, Google introduced this uh, 2000, in 2008 with their Chrome. So GIT is very, very powerful. Uh, it's gonna be straight away, just in time. And I'm gonna show you guys what it means to be just in time. We're gonna discuss this in the future uh, videos. All right, so JavaScript was built to make web pages alive with animation and interactivity. Uh, websites um, was around 1990s, 1993, only 300 websites with a very short, um, with a very um, blurry and very um, crappy, uh, looking very static and just just a few lines here and and the load was very very slow and um, it doesn't did have any animation or any whatever you guys see the code here and that's it that's that's all you get get it inside the web browser but with the arrival of JavaScript it is puts animation and interactivity I think YouTube used the JavaScript for a very, very long time, very, very long time, till recently it get rid of the JavaScript for their videos. If, uh, so if you turn off the um, JavaScript uh, in 2015 or 2014, 2010, you wouldn't see any, any video inside the YouTube. All right, so all major web browsers have a dedicated JavaScript engine to execute the code on the user's device. So as I said before, JavaScript lives inside the web browser. You guys don't need any special software or you guys don't need to go anywhere to download anything so if anyone's any website is telling you guys to download the software for javascript 
they are wrong they are tricking you and they want to run their malicious code inside your um, computer to hack you so otherwise you guys don't need anything all you guys need is uh, chrome which is available widely available in every computer uh, you guys need um, uh, firefox which you are very familiar with the firefox uh, opera or uh, microsoft edge which if you guys using the windows you guys can see that uh, there is a microsoft edge which is formerly it, it was called uh, internet explorer all right, so JavaScript is often abbreviated as JS and has extension of name JS. So your name A B C X Y Z, you guys put it and put a dot and put a JS. It means it's JavaScript. It's just like a PHP, C plus plus, C sharp, or any other language. You guys can put here as a JS. All right, so the last one in this uh, slide, a script. Uh, and as I, as I said to you guys, it's a Java and script. A script is a series of instructions that computer reads and follows. So it's a series of instructions. You guys can put your code instruction and the computer and the, say Chrome comes in, Chrome browser comes in and reads line by line and follows. And each individual instruction is called a statement. So every structure instructions you guys put it is called a statement. And a statement ends with semicolon. So if you guys can put your um, say any code here javascript you guys needs to put a semicolon to end it so if you if you guys say javascript uh doesn't care if you guys can put one code in three lines so as long as you guys don't put this one javascript keep reading that uh, knows that keep reads uh, reads that at, uh, as um, one line so just keep in mind just not like a python any other language that you guys in strict needs to do iteration but with the javascript you guys don't need if you, go, you guys can start from here or you guys can start from here or you guys can start from here and you guys can spread your code in so say four lines but as soon as javascript sees this one the semicolon it, it knows that your statement ends that's a, this video is what is javascript so I'm gonna, i already explained to you javascript in the next video we're gonna go in the history of the javascript how javascript began and uh, then go through from uh, from there all right guys uh, that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video and bye